It's time for Orchard CMS. Adding real-time web functionality to your web application is essential for a great user experience. Today, we'll be creating chat functionality in an Orchard Core CMS web application with Signal R. <music> Welcome back. So what is Signal R? Signal R for ASP.NET is a library for developers that simplifies the process of adding real-time web functionality to web applications. Signal R handles connection management automatically and lets you broadcast messages to all connected clients simultaneously, like a chat room. You can also send messages to specific clients. The connection between the client and the server is persistent, unlike a classic HTTP connection, which is re-established for each communication. SignalR uses the new WebSocket transport where available and falls back to older transports when necessary. While you could certainly write your app using WebSockets directly, using SignalR means that a lot of extra functionality you would need to implement is already done for you. Most importantly, this means that you can code your app to take advantage of WebSockets without having to worry about creating a separate code path for older clients. SignalR also shields you from having to worry about updates to WebSockets. Since SignalR is updated to support changes in the under Line transport, providing your application a consistent interface across versions of WebSockets. The Signal R API contains two models for communicating between clients and servers, persistent connections, and hubs. Today, we'll be looking at hubs. A hub is a more high-level pipeline built upon the connection API that allows your client and server to call methods on each other directly. Signal R handles the dispatching across machine boundaries as if by magic allowing clients to call methods on the server as easily as local machines, and vice versa. Using the hub communication model will be familiar to developers who have used remote invocation APIs such as .NET Remoting. Using a hub also allows you to pass strongly typed parameters to methods enabling model binding. Let's go ahead and use the existing clean blog theme that we created back in a previous video to add a chat functionality to the theme. So let's go ahead and bring up Visual Studio. Okay, so you can see that there's two projects here. We have our main application, which is Orchard Skills at OrchardCore.OrchardCMS, and then we have the clean blog theme. So let's go ahead and start implementing our signal R. So one of the things we need to implement is the hub. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and right click on the project and add new folder and then we'll just call it hub. Okay, let's right click on that and add a new item and let's go ahead and select code and add a class here and let's call this chathub.cs and hit add. Now let's go into our chathub.cs and let's go ahead and add the code for that. There we go. So we'll set up a chat hub based off of the hub class and then we'll add a task called send message and then we'll do an await clients.all send async receive message. All right. So now let's go to our cs.startup file here and let's go ahead and add or add signal R and also do add setup. And also we'll need to add a configure where we set up an endpoint. So we'll do a builder dot use endpoints. And for that, we'll do a map razor pages and then also map hub, the chat hub with the slash chat app. Okay, great. Okay, let's open up the clean blog dot recipe dot JSON file. Let's go ahead and add a menu link item and name it chat and for the URL we'll do tilde slash chat. And now let's go ahead and add a chat page with specific HTML to interact with SignalR. We'll add that. So we created a content type of page, display text of chat, and then here's the HTML that we added here for that. And then let's go ahead and save that. Let's go ahead and run the application. All right, let's go ahead and select our clean blog theme, Druid Skills, and then let's go ahead and press the Finish Setup blue button. 
All right, let's go to our chat window. And let's type our user. And let's enter a message. And hit send. There you go. Let's go ahead and bring up another instance. And let's go ahead and send another message. And hit the send button. Okay, let's go back to the other instance. And there we go. Our message are being sent to each other. Let's say back again. Send. And there you go. Orchard says back again. Now let's recap. We took the existing Orchard Core clean blog theme from a previous video and added a chat page that implements the Signal R hub communications model. We ran two instances of the Orchard Core CMS web application and showed that we could communicate between each of them. Now, if you missed or didn't understand something, that's okay. There's a detailed blog post that describes all the steps. There is also a GitHub repository with the complete source code. All this information is in the video description. If you like this video, please click on the thumbs up icon. Also, please subscribe and click on the bell icon to get a notification when I release the next video. Thank you for watching.